Hey guys, this is Tracking25 and welcome back to another episode on the Symmetria server. I just want to make a really quick announcement that there will be a spoiler on the Redstone minigame throughout the episode. So if you want to do this minigame, there will be a world download attached to this episode. And what you can do is just play the world download real quick, try and figure out the puzzle for yourself. And if you can't, then you can watch the episode and see how it's done. But I just want to say I had a lot of trouble with this puzzle. It gave me headaches and I almost ready to quit many times. So sit back and enjoy this episode and let's get it started. Hello everyone, this is Tracking25 and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Symmetria server. Right now I'm in front of my unicorn that I built. If you didn't see the first episode, you can have a look. What I just did is a little world tour and all the spots I like to go on on the server. But now we're going to get started on some real work. So the plan for today's episode like I mentioned before, the Wood Chippers Club, which is right over. Ow! If I can fly. <laughs> the Wood Chippers Club, which is right over here. Over here. Over here. Pretty much, they get a mini game once every month. So, wow, and this is a new shop that is popping up right in front of the Wood Chippers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see what that's done. But yes, they get a mini game once every month, and this mini game is going to be a three part puzzle. So, like in the last episode, I showed you that we had a maze. I'm perfect, the door is still working. So, right now, I'm just going to finish up the maze over there and then do the other two puzzles for the mini games. Before I get to the mini game, I just want to show you something really cool. So, these are the note blocks for my, whatchamacallit, unicorn on top over there. And I just want to show you something what happened. If you look right over here, if I can get it right uh, uh. so animals have been trapping themselves in between the note blocks and the repeaters there's about seven of them all the way down here so I just realized this is a pretty good animal mob trap just in case you guys want to build one but now let's go back to the minigame puzzle and now we are back to the first puzzle which is the maze and yeah the room looks a little bit different than it did last time only because and actually in a recent live stream I did a little bit of tweaking to hair and I put a front door over there now what happens, once you enter, there's no return. So if the player walks in, they have to go into the maze and there's no turning back. The only problem for this is I actually built this one block too far. So if you pretty much go out <laughs> and enter like this, you can still see that that's the entrance there and you won't be completely lost in the maze. So what I'm going to do is just extend this out one more block and put it over here and over there just so that they have a little bit of a... A hard time with this maze. I don't want them to know where the entrance is so they can get a starting point and then go back through it. I want it to be as hard as possible just to make sure it spends a lot of time in here. So after I move this little bit over there, I'll just break that to get back in easily. What I'm going to do next is just finish out the uh, end of it. Uh, I think the last thing I have to do is just make the exit, the exit over there. And actually I changed up the walls a little bit over here. I realized that there was stone and all those other blocks over there on the wall. So what I did is I just replaced it all with red hardened clay just so it's even harder. So let me just move this piston real quick and then show you guys to where the exit is. It's all done now and it's working like a charm. Well, it's been another five minutes and I got lost in my maze again. I still don't know how I can't find this exit, but now I think I know where to go. And right over here is the exit of the maze, and then you'll see just a little sign over here saying congratulations, you made it past level 1, and press this button over here to get elevated to the second floor over there. Now for the second puzzle, what I'm going to do is sort of like a sand puzzle maze. More or less, it's like a, you have to try and fit the right piece of sand in the right spot. It's pretty easy. All it is is it's going to be just moving around a piece of sand with pistons to get to the top. They have to try and launch a piece of sand across the room. It's going to be easier to explain to you guys if I just show you this clip I recorded in my testing world. So it's actually pretty pretty simple puzzle right here. It's just moving the sand block from this point to that point over there. And what I'll have is a repeater out over there just reading the signal through the sand block or maybe the zero block sending a signal to say that you've completed the puzzle. And then I was playing around with a little bit of slime blocks and something cool. And then I found something pretty cool that you're gonna like. So what's gonna happen when you get to the over here You'll see probably like a piece of sand over there or maybe somewhere over there, somewhere in the room that I'm going to build. And it's going to get launched across the room. And, um, well, here, I'll just show you what it looks like. So what happens is you complete the puzzle, sand drops down, and it just gets launched. <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at this for the past 10 minutes. And it's just so cool. <laughs> I love it so much. 
the sand just drops down, gets hit, boom boom, and then launched. How cool will that be, just like seeing a sand block just get launched? I might have it that it gets launched from the back of the room and it might come right at your face and then just land down right in front of you and breaks. Or what it'll be, to get to the next room you'll see the sand block launched and it'll land on an observer block over there, it'll detect it, and you get to the next puzzle. But that's just so cool. And by the way, this is actually my redstone testing world. It's where I test a few things before I put it in my world, but mainly I test them in survival. But in case I want to build something like this, I do it in the redstone test world. But anyways, let's get back to the multiplayer server. And now, we have the second minigame in all its glory and beauty. I mean, look at it. Look at that stone over there. Look at that granite. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, you guys know I'm kidding. So, this is actually going to be where the second minigame is going to be taking place. If you see from down over here, I put the bouncy, bouncy, bouncy slime block over there. And this is the exit right over here. So, to get to the next floor there, you just press that button right there. And you get bloomed to the second floor. Then there will be some stairs going up just like here to this level. And then you'll see the second minigame. So, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to dig out this entire area over there. And it's just going to be a giant glass wall. Just filled with glass and everything. And then the back of the puzzle, you'll just see right over here with this torch is marked out. The sand puzzle that I showed you for my redstone testing world. So, what's going to happen for that is you'll have buttons right over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you have to press, pretty much press the buttons in the right order to get the block up over there. But what you don't know is if you press the button, the piston is going to extend and then come back. So you have to pretty much press the buttons fast and you have to figure out which one's which to operate which piston. There won't be a little, little indicator telling you which piston it pushes, so you have to figure out on your own. Then, when the puzzle is completed on the top over here, I'm going to do that slime, slime, sand block launch that I showed you in my test world. And you'll see the sand block get launched all the way over here. And then, poop, right over there, and it'll open up a door to get to the next floor. Then you'll climb up more steps, and then that is the second puzzle, all done and dusted. Woof! That was a mouthful. Now, let me just show you real quick the redstone for the maze. Hopefully there's no mobs over here. And, yeah, this is what the top of the maze pretty much looks like. It's just filled with pistons up and down and redstone wires that I don't know go to what. It was just pretty sloppy redstone, but it got the job done. This was going to be hidden, so... Ooh, there's gold here. Let me take that gold. Inventory's full. Can't even pick it up. Um, yeah, can't drop anything. Oh, steak. Am I hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. Okay, I'll eat the steak, pick the gold up after. And then it was... <laughs> it, was it was kind of like a... A shoot together redstone thing and it got the job done I mean the maze is that's a hidden part it's pretty it's pretty tough I'm not gonna lie I uh, I didn't make it too hard so it can't be unsolvable but the one-way passages from these pistons sure do make it hard so let me just really quick get back to this area over here hopefully don't fall in any redstone holes perfect I'm good and I'm back up there so I'm just gonna decorate this area right over here I'm gonna go for more of a sandstone pattern and the red uh, hardened clay only because it is gonna be a sand puzzle so it should be cool and I'll get back to you guys when I finish building that room and the puzzle or maybe just the room to show you guys what it's gonna look like so a little progress update on how the game is going on I've gone for the jungle wood sandstone and then red stained clay type of look and this is gonna be the view they see when they get up from the first puzzle then when they come up the stairs here, they're going to see that nice little wall over there. And then this is where the minigame is going to be. And then right where that torch is again, that's where the pistons are going to be. So on this bland, bland band right over here, that's where we'll have the buttons to control the pistons over there. Then this corner right over here, that's where we're going to have to try and get the sand block. But they don't know that they're supposed to move those pistons over there to launch another sand block all the way over there to this spot over here. So when they first get here, they'll be a little bit confused, but I think after they press a few buttons, they'll see what's going on and then be able to get the sand block over here. So over here with the sand block, there's gonna be an observer block, probably right over there, just reading the sand block over there. It's gonna send a signal, it's gonna open up this little door over here, which I'm gonna build after, and it's gonna lead them up to the third game, which is pretty cool. So this is actually almost done. I just have to build now a little piston pushing thing over there. And I can't wait to do that. I've actually never built the game out fully. I've only thought of it. So it shouldn't be that hard, but it's pretty simple redstone. I just need to get that same little system thing I had in my redstone world. Then have a little uh, repeater at the top there to read the sand block through another signal. Blah, 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 blah. And then make that slime block launch over there to launch it over there. That's going to be the hard part. Just figuring out the height I'd put the slime block at just to get that over there. But it shouldn't be too hard and it shouldn't take too long. So in no time I should have this whole room done and with the all blah 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, the puzzle is finally complete. 
and so much for an easy puzzle. I thought this was going to be easy, yeah, you push that person, that person, that person, and then it goes up. But, um, it's a lot harder than I thought. Pretty much, it's a game of reflexes now. You have to pretty much, okay, if you guys are wood chippers, uh, spoiler alert, just because this is how you solve the puzzle, so just skip ahead until you see another clip. But to get this puzzle, what you have to do is actually push that one, then that one, and then that pushes that one there. Now to get that one up, I believe it's this one. Okay, so yeah, it's this one. So the problem is you have to keep that one extended, push that one, and then raise that one over there. So you have to spam, spam, spam buttons, four buttons pretty much in rapid succession just to get it. And it is tough. I've got it once, and I might have to make this a little bit easier just getting the block over there. Just getting the block over there is a challenge in its own. So I'm going to try to do it one more time, but how you complete it is you press that button, that button, that button, that button. And you have to just go boom, 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 boom. And if you miss one, then game over. Okay, let me see if I can do it. And, oh, I missed that one. And boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, you see? <laughs> it's a little bit harder because, see, this button here, that one is the delay on it. So you have to pretty much get it at the perfect timing to get that to stay there and then that piston to pull it up over there. Which is tough, and you never know. I'll probably put a little note block there saying ding, 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 or just a ding to know if you got it right, just because you can't see it when it happens. So if I can't get this easily in a couple more tries, I might just make it just getting the block there alone, just because just getting it there is hard enough. Or, you know, I can keep it like that and keep them here for hours, and then make a little quitter's door right over here so you can just quit if you give up. Uh, we'll see what happens after trying this a few more times. Okay, so fellow backup has arrived here just because I tried it so many times and I still didn't get it. So now I'm joined here by Ellie Sarah over here. Thank you for helping me out. And she's going to try and do this puzzle just to see if I have to make it a whole lot easier. I still think I have to make it easier, but we'll see what has to get done. Now I just have to type to her in chat that she's good to go to try and solve it, and then we can get this done. There we go. Good to go. So let me see if she can solve this puzzle and see if I have to make it easier. She did it. She did it. She got it. But it wasn't recording. I can't believe it wasn't recording. So she's going to try it one more time to see if we can get it. But I was so excited. I mean, I gave up on it. I was like, ah, oh, forget this puzzle. It's too hard. Just like everyone else will when they try and do it. Ah, oh, look at that. She did it again. That's <laughs> perfect. And I got it when she was recording. So this puzzle is solvable. Thank you so much. I know you can't hear me, but thank you so much for this. So the puzzle is solvable. And she's going to tell me how she solved it the easy way. But now the next thing is making the little... I don't even know if I'll make... The slime block launcher for that anymore just because this is hard enough as it is and it it frustrated me and i made it i mean if it frustrated me then everyone else is gonna be frustrated which is perfect so this is puzzle number two done and she almost did it again okay she has it down packed now i want to see if i can see how she's doing it remember this is spoiler alert for anyone who's trying to do the puzzle so just skip ahead oh, okay that's how she does it. She has to, okay i see i see i see now it was the way that I was doing it before, just I just sucked at doing it. So, <sighs> now I'm just gonna finish decorating this room and then we'll have puzzle number two all done and dusted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I finally mastered the puzzle. Actually, my friend found out an easier way of doing it, which makes it a whole lot easier. So, how we start off is you press this button there, then that button there. And remember, wood chippers, spoilers. So, if you wanna do this, then don't watch this clip. Don't, just don't watch it. So, after you press those two buttons there, you have to press four buttons in rapid succession for it to work. So it is that button, that button, that button, and that button. You could do it the way that I do it, but you have to be extremely fast and get it perfect or else you won't get it just because that piston just extends a little bit too late. And I don't want to extend it out a bit just because it's hard enough to do it as it is. So if I can do this properly, I stand right here and then go bang, 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 bang. And you get the ding from that over there. So, you see that the puzzle works perfectly fine, and I am so happy. Good. I thought at first when I was doing this, I'm like, oh no, it's not going to work. It doesn't work anymore. Oh, great. I got to cancel this whole puzzle. But no, it works. And um, forget the slime block launcher. Uh, I was going to do that, but it's just too much work. So what I might do now is, if I can figure out a little configuration over here, I might make it launch the slime block over there. Say, like, say for instance, you know, when it, um, what you call it, the sand breaks over there. 
So you need to have a new sand block. So you can't just break the glass and go and place the sand block. Why not just have a slide block launcher launch the sand block from... Huh, I can't really say where, but maybe launch the sand block up and that way and up that way, right back in this spot over here. And I can put maybe a, I think maybe a half slab or something if I can get there, just so it stops it from uh, sliding past there. So I have to test out and see if that works. But that might be what I do, just get a slime block to go boom, boom, and push that right over there. Break that towards there so it doesn't break the sand. Just so it resets the system. But this puzzle is all done and dusted. And I can't wait till people try this. It can finally get the last few finishing blocks. Yes, I can place a block there. And then fix the whole ceiling out. Hopefully I don't break any red so I'm going to do that in the process. And then get on to puzzle number three. No slime block launcher. Unfortunately, this is the best thing you're going to get. A piston pushing sand and feeding it down like that if the sand breaks. I tried, okay? The design that I had in my creative world, it worked perfectly. The only problem is, on the server, I don't know what was going on. The block was stopping right here, just in midair, and plop. Then I relogged to another the ghost block, I broke it, and then kept doing the same thing over and over again, and I just got frustrated, and built this little... Nah, that over there. So how it works is pretty simple. If your sand block breaks, you go to this lever right here, and you flick the lever, and it pushes the new sand in. Ah, uh, I know, it's so boring. I, I wanted to do it better, come on. I, I wanted to do it better, just I, I couldn't. I couldn't, unfortunately, because of the server, but A, it works. So now, the minigame is officially done. The last thing to do now is just fill in the walls over here, walls over there, and then probably add a whole bunch of sand going all the way up to the top, just in case, so I never have to reload that, so that should be good. But I'm actually running out of time for this episode. I wanted to finish the last game on the top over there, but I just had so much fun playing this puzzle. And let me see if I can do it one last time before I leave. So I believe it's that button, that button. Yes, okay, good. No sound gets pushed over there. And then it's just spam, spam, spam. Ay, 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 ay. It's just spam, 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 spam. Oh boy. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. And it's just spam, 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 spam. Oh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. Just boom, boom, boom. It's a shulker box. It's in my way. The shulker box is in my way. Okay, let me break the shulker box to try it again. What? What? Dang. You gotta be kidding me. What? No, it's impossible. Message Ali Sarah. Hey, I'm trying to end off my episode with me making the puzzle. But I can't get it. Oh, miss the word anymore. Ah! Okay, so I've been at it for a couple minutes now, and it doesn't seem to be working anymore, which is really strange because nothing was changed at all. So I'm going to blame the lag on the server for the reason why I can't solve it because I have done it extremely fast, faster than I was doing it in the test. Maybe I have to go a little bit slower because if I go bang, 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 oh, I missed that one. If I go bang, 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 it should work, but it's not working. So I'm going to end off this episode right here with me failing many, many times at this, but I promise you it does work. You saw it work in action, but anyways. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I had a whole bunch of fun making this minigame, even though it's not working anymore. But that doesn't matter. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and hopefully we can get this done and dusted for the wood chippers to play. So this has been Tracking25, and I'll see you guys in the next... Aha! I was not going crazy. I knew it. I knew there was something wrong with it. Now let me do it. I knew there was a block missing or a piece of redstone missing. That's why I couldn't complete the puzzle. I got it. I got it. 
and now I can end off this episode. I actually asked Ellie Sarah for help again because <laughs> that is right, I did change something and I just figured it out, but I ended off the episode on a high note. Never give up, never surrender. But anyways, this has been Tracking25 and I'll see you guys in the next episode.